Hey guys, welcome. Friends, today we're gonna check that how exactly session work and this would be a very short lecture where we will try to check a couple of things which are done behind the scene. Moving forward, let us check this very simple presentation. In here, let us assume that there is a server and a browser and a user is trying to log in into user account. Now, whenever a user logs in, a new session gets generated. Now, this new session is created inside the session pool and a specific session ID is being generated and given to this new session. Now, all the information regarding this particular session has been stored in the server and for identifying this particular server, a unique session ID is present. Now, this session ID is automatically generated and the programmer need not to worry about any session ID. Now these session pools are maintained automatically by Tomcat and in fact we need not to worry about session pool or the memory required by the session pool because whenever the browser is not interacting with the server for a specific amount of time for a specific user the session will destroy means the memory management creation of the session, assigning the session ID, all these tasks are done automatically by the server and we need not to worry about it. Now, obviously we can override the session timeout time. For example, by default, if a user is not interacting with the server for more than 10 minutes, the session will destroy and the user need to log in again in order to start using his user account again. Now, if the programmer would like to increase or decrease the timeout time, it can be done and how it could be done, we will check in the forthcoming lectures. Now, once the session ID has been created, then we need to also store the session ID inside the browser so, so that the browser can interact with the server by making use of the session ID. And once the session is created, then the session ID gets stored inside a cookie and the cookie is stored inside the browser, obviously. Now, once this cookie is created and a new session has been created inside the session pool in the server. Now, the server can identify this particular user and obviously the interaction with server can be done with an identity of the user. So this is how the whole mechanism works. Means now the server can easily identify the user with the use of the session ID and the browser has the session ID. So this is how exactly this whole mechanism works. So this is the whole mechanism and I suppose that explanation was easy to understand and you guys have understood the concept. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.